Hi there, and this is Hoo-Ha Sports Day, your daily sports update and review show covering all that's happening in your world of football and beyond as we recap the weekend that was in the Premier League, especially the North London derby with bragging rights now firmly belonging to Tottenham. And the producers say that they have a treat for me today and it has something to do with my predictions of the weekend's results. So let's look at the table and recap some results. No change in the top six, however, Man City's 4-0 away win at Blackburn has now brought them to within a goal of level pegging with United. In fact, all top seven teams earned victories over the weekend. Swansea's 2-0 win at home over Stoke brings them into the top half. Well, all three promoted sides are currently in the safe zone. But just when things were going so well for Queen's Park Rangers, they go and got hammered 6-0 by Fulham. In my opinion, all six goals were defensive frailties. But oh boy, just look at Arsenal. Who would have thought of them being where they are now, 15th? In an interview after the match, Wenger said that it was a painful defeat, but he tried to deflect some attention to the referee for allowing Rafael van der Vaart's presumed hand-assisted opener. Watch your television and you will see where you handle it. Never in my mind it was handball. I haven't seen it. You know, I don't know. Uh, it's the job of the referee and the linesman to, to do his job properly, and he didn't, and that's as simple as that. Anyway, the referee didn't give it. It was a goal, so that's the end of that one. And yes, it is sweet to own the bragging rights in North London and on the social networking sphere. But in all honesty, you just have to feel sorry for them. I can't recall Arsenal being ever this poor. Plenty is being said about that Spurs win and Arsenal's performance. But there were two comments that caught my eye. First, on the Tottenham page. I have to agree with Fraser Russell. The 8-2 jokes is getting stale. But unfortunately, that has somewhat fueled the 2-1 stick that's being thrown at them. But here's the serious bit of business. Wenger has already thrown in the towel for the, a title challenge. And you have to heed this comment on the Arsenal Facebook page from Obaid Jabri saying the Gunners must take the domestic cup competitions seriously. You see, by only winning either the Carling or FA Cup, can they assure themselves a place in Europe next season? Otherwise, financially, they will have to go through some hardships, especially when you consider repayment of the stadium and the club's net worth. Leave the Gunners to lick their wounds as I revel on the Spurs win and my predictions of the weekend's results. Well, it's half right again. I could have done better. So what are the producers so excited about? Thanks, but I'm confused about the Techno Viking. I've heard of it before. I actually, I actually mentioned in the, in the email group that if we win the Champions League or the title, I was going to do some Techno Viking dance. With Azmi. Well, according to my Bible, the UrbanDictionary.com, it refers to a character at the techno street party in Germany. And it also means a god among men and the only one who could kill Chuck Norris. And was made famous because of the knee cam recording. But what my producers actually wanted to treat me with was this. Cute guys, real cute. But hey, I wish my grandma was that cool. So let's have some more of her as we wrap this episode of Wuha Sports today. Until tomorrow from the team and I, it's party on.